Good morning, guys. Um, it is now not early morning anymore <laughs> because I slept. I overslept, unfortunately. It's like 10 to 11, um, but I was just super tired. Um, I think I slept. I still only slept like four or five hours, but um, I was. I wanted to get up even earlier than that because I'm already not that long at home. And yeah. Anyway. I'm gonna be leaving now, so I packed my, my suitcase and literally there's nothing in it except for books and an empty cookie jar that I need to give my mom back. That is literally it. Oh, my laptop's in here as well. That's it though. And um, I haven't like tried to lift it yet. Yeah, it's, it's decently heavy. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just going home now. So say goodbye to my flat here. So I'm heading to the... I was gonna say airport. No, that would be fancy to just, I'm just like looking at this behind me. That would be fancy to fly home every single time, but I think it'd actually take more time with the waiting and the things like that. So anyway, I'm sorry I'm rambling. Um, yeah, last night was really fun. Um, but my hair smells so badly like smoke now. Um, Cause I don't know if you know this, but you can actually smoke in most clubs well, not anymore, but they've changed it a little bit. Like, it used to be even worse. But you can still um, smoke, like, almost everywhere, at least to some degree. And so it just smell like, you just smell so bad when you get home. And it's horrible. And I haven't taken a shower yet today because I want to actually do that when I'm at my parents' house. Because it's way less confusing and, like, way less difficult to do there. Anyway, I'm going to go home now. So see you guys there. So that was just my overly excited dogs. Um, they always act like that when anybody gets home from like a longer stay somewhere else and they're very happy to see everybody. So it's so adorable, I really, I find it so funny. Um, anyway, I'm at home now and um, we just had lunch and I am just going to unpack now because then a friend of mine is coming over and we're taking all of our dogs for a walk before it gets dark again. I mean, the weather at the moment is so, like, it's not actually bad, like, it's decently sunny, it was a decently sunny day, but it's, like, not even three, and, um, sun is already setting, so it's not fun. It's not fun, I don't like winter. <laughs> you need to do everything that is, like, important earlier, or otherwise you're just gonna have to do it in the darkness, so, yeah. But I am happy to have my dog, my dog back with me, he's so cute. And also, you wanna say hi to the camera? Do you want to see the camera? And uh, also we have, I have my bookshelves, my bookshelf back. So that's another nice thing to look at, which is very, very amazing. Awesome to me. Um, I'm going to have to do quite a bit of studying this weekend, but I'm hoping, hoping it's going to be fine and I can at least relax a little bit. Well, not studying, which is like homework. I always say studying, but I mean homework. It's just a lot of homework. You're so adorable. You're so adorable. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You're too cute to be alive. You are too cute. You are too cute. You are too cute. <laughs> you are too cute. Oh, I missed you, Lola. She always does this because she really likes to ruin clothes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and she still tries to sit on my lap even though she's really big now and doesn't really fit. So we're at this place now, which is the most beautiful place to go to for a walk with the dogs because it just looks really nice. I like to be here. And I'm really awkward because I can't feel. <laughs> Woo, it's so fancy. It's so dark, it's ridiculous. Oh my god, we have a guest star. Hey, Trippy, Trippy, be a guest star. <laughs> Say hello, say hello. We've got a little, it's not even dog, what are you? You're not a dog. 
He's not a dog. He's so cute. So many cute dogs in today's video. Oh my gosh. Uh, good and important for me. <laughs> Anyway, we gotta go back because it's really cold and it's getting night time, even though it's like four. Which bit is? 16 Uhr. Ha! I knew it. Four. Petty, say hi. Petty, say hi. No. Petty, say hi. Say hi. Nah, nah, they're not very big fans of being on camera. So guys, it's now night time. It was a really nice day. I didn't do anything productive at all, but my friend was here uh, for like the entire day or like the entire afternoon. And we played some more Stadtlandfluss, this time without alcohol. And uh, my sister played with us. Both of my sisters played with us. It was really fun. And then we baked some bread that was super delicious and I didn't film any of it because I forgot. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna lump this in together with tomorrow's vlog so you'll see all of this in one video because I did, in fact, bring my laptop. Here it is. There is proof, but I also forgot to bring a power cord. So I literally can't do, can't edit or upload, do anything with it, pretty much. So that's not happening. I'm very sorry. So I'll upload tomorrow night when I get back to Vienna. Um, everything, just the weekend vlog. Yeah. I hope you're still enjoying Vlogmas. I know this is a bit difficult to do when your life is really boring. I don't know why I insisted on doing Vlogmas this year. I really don't. Um, but I think it's also kind of fun as a personal diary for me to just see what I've been up to, what I've been doing, and maybe in a few years I can look back on it. Even if not a lot of people enjoy watching it, that's totally fine. Don't worry, there will still be main videos coming out throughout this, as you might have already noticed. Um, I'm still uploading normal videos, so... Don't worry, it will not just be Vlogmas every single day until Christmas now. Um, I have a few videos planned for the next few weeks, so you should be fine. So of YouTube. Na? Sicher net? Du bist der Schaf YouTube. So. Diese wunderhübsche Schwester. Eine wunderhübsche Schwester. I have such a beautiful family. We're going to die Pferdchen in That's also kind of funny. Um, we're going to the restaurant now to celebrate my grandma's birthday and other than that, I haven't done anything today because this has been the weekend of being unproductive. So I'm packing again to go back and again packing isn't really the right word for it because I just put a few clothes in my luggage. It's like clothes, books, the current, the constant flow of my stuff between here and Vienna. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Anyway, um, I, I just realized that I really need to get a new bookshelf um, because I added all of the books uh, in, basically just tried to put them someplace. Um, the new ones that I brought over from Vienna that I've already read. It's getting like really crammed. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh. I technically hate putting books up like this. Like just, I don't like it. it it's, it's driving me crazy. I wish I could, this is like how I want it to look. Like hard covers that actually sort of match all next to one another and not like this. Not like this, whatever. I've complained about it before. Um, but yeah, it's kind of getting really, really tight. Space is getting very tight. And I tried to organize them by like genre. And um, <laughs> this shelf and the shelf here are both just fantasy. And as you can see, this is like my favorite genre. <laughs> and that's why I have way too many books. And it's, it's kind of, it's really bad. I don't even have enough space like in my room to put up another shelf so I'm very like worried I don't know what to do I mean I have this shelf right here but it's like my TBR shelf and my classic shelf and I kind of need that so I can't really put books there so <laughs> I don't know I'm really confused I, like, I really don't know what to do so I don't know I don't know I don't know and even here there's not a lot of space like I removed all these books because I read them but I thought maybe I leave it like that because I might get some more and so I don't know, now they're like this. And yeah, too many unread books. Way too many, even if, if you like counting the ones I also have in Vienna, so it's like a lot. Anyway, I'm taking with me um, 
Stolen Songbird because I decided to reread this um, this week. I hope I'll manage. And yeah, I also I'm trying to find a way to finish the Goodreads challenge this year. Um, so I'll finish Faust Tile, uh, tile <laughs> yeah, Tile Eins, so part one, and I'm like literally almost there. <laughs> I don't know, I started reading this this summer and I mean, I think I need like 15 more pages or something. So I'm gonna read that. I'm gonna finish Norwegian Wood, I'm gonna read Stolen Songbird, and then something else, and like a couple other books. I have two weeks. Two weeks. A little bit over two weeks. So this is, oh my god. I have to read like 10 books. Over 10 books, I think. So it's not fun. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 15 books? Is it 15? Mm, the pressure is on, guys. I don't know what to do. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I had way too much food today. It's always like family get-togethers always end up basically just food fest. And um, yeah, I, sh I showed you the schnitzel I had earlier. It was so good. Oh my god, but also way too much. And now we have some cake as well. It's like, oh, I'm dying. I'm literally dying. Also, my arm is getting really tired. Oh my god. I still haven't like built up any muscle from logging for the cu last couple of weeks. So we're at like the pre-party now. This is what it looks like. There's three of us. And we just made a drinking game out of Stadtland Fluss. The game I told you about the other day. It was so much fun. Oh my god. And we're all really drunk now. I can only recommend that as a drinking game. Tomorrow! Hello! Say hello to the vlog. Hello, internet. 